Hey guys, it's Cass. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the Galen Leather A5 zipper folio in the Crazy Horse Navy Blue Leather. Um, I got mine from Van S. Pens. I would highly recommend them. They have a lot of very interesting things that can be hard to get inside the U.S. Um, and they have great customer service. I would really, really highly recommend them. Uh, so let's get into it. So I bought this just a few days ago and I really, I love it already. I've had my journal in it since I got it along with a couple of pens and some stickers and stuff. And I just wanted to uh, do a review, uh, this color in particular, because I really haven't seen a lot of reviews of this color, uh, which is crazy to me because I think the blue is the prettiest color they have um, over the browns and everything and the green. The green's nice, but I'm not a big fan of green. And I'm not even a blue person particularly, but I really like their blues. So it's got their logo on the back, stamped very deeply. It looks really good. And then it's got some just marks on it, which is normal for their crazy horse leather. I've seen covers that come looking like they've been fed through a wood chipper already. And I didn't want one like that. I wanted one that was kind of not. <laughs> super dented up and had giant white spots all over it. I wanted to do that myself. And Vanessa came through. They did, they, they picked one out for me and it was, it was good. So this is how I have mine set up currently. I have uh, my journal over here on the right side, the Musubi Atelier. Um, I have two pens over here, my Lamy 2000, uh, Lamy Safari uh, All Black Edition. And then I just have some stickers and flat ephemera over here and then under here in this pocket over here. Uh, so normally this folio comes with this, which goes right in here. Uh, it can hold four pens, obviously. Uh, it's got some blue elastic. It has the blue felt material that's on the inside here on the back and then the leather on the front. And I really like it. I just, I'm not gonna use this because I don't want my pens crushed in here um, and also denting the front of my cover and I also I plan to use this mostly for traveling and I just don't carry four pens with me I carry two which these are perfect so I'm just gonna carry my pens over here uh, the leather elastic over here keeps them from touching the notebook over here and even though there's no separator down here they, they don't really touch even when this is closed. I've looked at it every which way and even when this is pushed over here, they don't touch if you like push them apart and then close it, uh, which is good because I don't want to scratch up my pens. <laughs> they Some of my pens are kind of not super cheap and I don't want to mar the finish. So um, if you are wondering about putting pens here, you can, you don't have to worry really about them touching depending on the size I guess if you have super thick pins they might touch uh, but these two in particular don't touch for me if I close the notebook uh, so it does come with a little keychain here that clips here in the middle uh, in other reviews I've seen people put keys or that little eyeball charm that comes with uh, Galen Leather products I am not gonna carry keys or a charm or anything in here because I don't want this scratching my pens. So I'm not gonna keep this in here, but it does come with the little matching keychain. It's got the navy blue leather, um, which I'm sure I'll find a use for it outside of this cover, but as of now, I'm not gonna keep it in here, but it does come with it. Uh, so as for storage over here on the left side, you have this big pocket right here, which is where this goes. And I'm just keeping a bunch of stickers over here. These are just stickers I've gotten from Redbubble. And I don't know when I'm going to use them, but I like having them because you never know when you need, a, need to use a sticker. So I just have these sitting here in this slot. And then there is a slot back here where I have got more stickers. <laughs> so that comes up like that. Got a lot of space back there. Uh, this is a rickshaw bag work sticker I got when I ordered from them. And then these are some transparent binder clip stickers that I ordered from uh, Serica Studio. She has a YouTube channel and does art. She's an amazing artist. I love her stuff. And I have bought a bunch of stickers from her, as you can see. Uh, you've got some credit card slots up here. 
and I have a, another Rickshaw Bagworks sticker up here. It's It came with the same order that this one came with. They send you a bunch of stickers. Uh, and it's a little fountain pen, and it says, Writer's Gotta Write. And I love that. So I just have this stuck up here, a little fountain pen peeking out. And then I have some Oberon Design uh, business cards in here. I don't know why I put these in here. I normally carry these with my Oberon Design cover. I put some clear stickers in that one. Um, just in case I'm ever out and about and someone's like, oh my God, I love your journal cover. And I can just whip this out and be like, it's Oberon Design, look them up. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm carrying these in here. Actually, I think I'm gonna take those out. I think I was just trying to see like what it looked like with a card in there and I just never took them out. So I don't need those in here because this is not Oberon Design. It stays up there. And then I have some index cards back here uh, because this, is my journal strictly. I don't make grocery lists or anything in here. So I just have some index cards up here for if I need to make a note of something. And this slot extends down pretty far. Um, I can't stick my fat fingers in there, but so it goes, I don't know, it's probably like down here somewhere where it stops. So it's, it's pretty deep. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. And I have index cards. And then back here, you've got the large, pocket, which I've seen people put um, iPads or Kindles back here. I would not do that. Um, me personally, I don't want to crush my Kindle or damage the screen. Besides, I've got a case for it that works just fine. Um, I just, I'm not going to risk smashing everything even closer together in this cover. I'm just not going to risk it. So I'm just using it for more stickers that do not fit out here. And then uh, some people I've seen also put things under their journal or in here. This thing over here, I'll pull my journal out. So this over here has got this slot here, side pocket for putting in side bound notebooks like what I just had in there. And then a slit up here so you can put a top bound or yeah, a top bound or spiral bound notebook up here, like a Rhodia dot pad or, you know, some kind of legal pad. I don't know. So that's also what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to show you a lot of different notebooks and how they fit in here. I've seen some people put different notebooks in here. Um, but I have like seven or eight different notebooks and I just want to show you guys just in case there's a notebook that you haven't seen yet or you know, whatever. So, uh, first up, this one's pretty popular. I've seen every review, every reviewer put this one in here, uh, cause it comes, whoa, sorry about that. Cause it comes, or they can buy it with this off the same website. So this is Galen Leather's Everyday Book. It's a very thin A5 Tomoe River paper, uh, which this closes really easily. Um, it's not super smashed in together. So I wouldn't worry about crushing your pens or anything with a thin notebook like this. And then I've got a Leuchterm soft cover, A5. A little thicker than that Tomoe, or the um, Everyday Writing book by Galen. Uh, this one would be really good for journaling too. This is what I used to journal in before I switched over to the Tomoe recently. And it fits great. Um, you know, you would take the pens out and everything and it would just lie flat. Perfect. It's a perfect little portable journaling station. Um, so A5, anything A5 is going to fit. Unless it's just beyond ridiculously super thick. So that is a soft cover Lloyd's charm. It's great, no problemo. This is a Rodeo Webby. It is kind of A5 size. The covers on these are super thick. So I have seen people put these in here. I will not. I tried to put it in earlier just to see because I hadn't done it before. And I couldn't even get it halfway. Like it wouldn't even go past here because it's just so thick that it was, it was really bending down here and up here and I was I don't know I, I didn't get a good feeling <laughs> from it so I just I stopped like right here and pulled it back out so I've seen people put these in here 
I will not do it, but if you really force it in there, it will go. Um, I just didn't want to pop a stitch <laughs> or something because it was, it was really, really difficult to get in there. <sighs> so here I've got the Rhodia dot pad, which if you're using this for taking notes or in meetings, it's really, really useful. Fits great. Um, once you use up a page, you can just rip it out and, you know, stick them in here, or fold them up and put them over here. Uh, the possibilities are so dot pad looks good in there. And then I've got the big boys. I've got the Seven Seas journal uh, with Tomoe. This thing is super thick and super heavy. And then I have the Lloyd's Term A5 uh, hardcover notebook. And these are about the same size uh, thickness wise. The cover on the Lloyd's Term obviously is a little thicker. This one's more like thin linen cardstock looking stuff. Uh, but they're about the same thickness, like I said, so they'll, they'll fit about the same. So let's do the Tomoe, or the seven C's with Tomoe. And of course, you know, it fits top to bottom, side to side, great. It is a little thicker than my Musubi. And I'm going to show you the, all the other notebooks fit fine. There really wasn't any strain on the zipper. Uh, with this one, I'm going to lift up just a little bit maybe. And show you, well, let me just zoom out some. So, wow, it's still really close. Anyway, it's really stressed up here. Um, compared to some of the other notebooks, I'm not comfortable keeping it this thick. Like, it's, it's still been some, but it's just, I'm, I'm worrying about my pins in here. So I would not want to keep this in here regularly because it's just, it's crushing my pens and I don't want my Lonnie 2000 hurt. <laughs> and then here is the Lloyd's Term A5 hardcover. A lot of people, this is what this product is advertised with, is like the hardcover A5. So it slides in there. And then it's got the ribbons down here, which I've seen people complain about the zipper catching. And so yeah, this is just A5. I have a bunch of scribbles in here. <laughs> I use this for just random words and ink samples and writing and stuff. But uh, like the Tomoe, it is is just really crammed in there. And the zip, I don't know, it just, it puts a lot of stress on the seams, I think. So I would not feel comfortable keeping this in here for any extended amount of time. Because I have seen uh, people <sighs> reporting, I guess, or just saying, I don't know, that, or images I've seen where this fabric has ripped, uh, maybe in the corner where there's like more stress put on it, like up here. As you can see, when it's open, it really pulls on it here. So if this were to ever rip, I would anticipate it ripping on one of the corners first because there's just a lot of stress. It's just, it's pulling really hard there. Just when it's open. Um, when it's closed, not really, but when it's open it does too. So I don't know. I haven't seen many reports of that, so hopefully it's not, hopefully it doesn't happen to me. <laughs> I really, um, I really like this folio. I want it to last me a really long time. I think it will. And I'm very happy with um, all the different ways you can customize it. I love looking at other ways or other people's ways of setting theirs up, what they keep in there. I know people I've seen have put their AirPods um, or earbuds or chargers or, you know, things like that over here. Keep their pens here, cards, just different stuff, you know, electronic iPads or Kindles or whatever in the back here. And it's really fun to look at all that and see how everybody has their own setup. Uh, but this is the setup I'm going to use uh, for the vacation I'm going on next week. I think it will work just fine. I'll have my two pens. These are probably the two that I'll take. Um, I've got this one inked up with 
Lardison Pastelier Ancre Classique Lilas or Lilas, however you say it. And then this one has got Parker Quink uh, Blue Black in it. So I'll probably take these two. And then I've, I've just got everything I need. And I feel ready to go on vacation with this stuff. I'll have some other journaling supplies in a separate pouch that doesn't fit in here, like my little mini printer and some tape and stuff like that. But otherwise, I've got everything I need in here. I will be comfortable carrying this around in case I come across a spot where I would want to journal or, you know, just sit with my stuff. So yes, it's a, it's a good folio. I would recommend it if you would have use for something like this. Like I said, I'm going to use mine mostly for traveling. Um, I'm excited for it to get worn in for me to scuff it and everything. I think it's going to look really nice after a while. Um, and uh, the only thing I would say that I would change about this is the thickness. If they would add maybe a quarter inch of fabric here and just like open this up just like a little bit, like a quarter inch would make all the difference. Um, if they ever came out with something like that and changed this, I would totally buy the new one. Um, as it is now though, it works for me. I'm not complaining too much. It is a beautiful piece of craftsmanship. Um, it's a gorgeous color. It's very useful. There's so many different ways you can set it up. It's really a wonderful product. And I would, I would recommend it if, you know, something like this would be of use to you. So I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope it was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.